Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to All Out, the game of game shows where you can win $100,000 if you go all out. First portion of tonight's show is brought to you by Armory Peanut Butter, with the taste that makes your mouth water for more. And now here he is, folks, the man you've been waiting for, the one, the only, Johnny Mitchell! of All Out, the game show that requires guts and perseverance instead of luck. And as you know, we choose our contestants from the studio audience. So audience, are we ready? Yeah. And let's go. Tell me, PD, who's number one? Johnny, our first contestant is right here from Watts, California, Julia Colby. <laughs> Hey, oh, I don't have to ask you if you're excited, Oh, you? I'm so excited, Johnny. I can't stop crying. <laughs> well, you have been picked to try to win $100,000. Now, how do you feel about that, Julia? Oh, I'm real tough, Johnny, and I'm going to give it my best. She's going to give it her best, ladies and gentlemen. So how about a big round of applause for <laughs> Julia Colby? Johnny, our uh, next contestant, Charles Ritter. is really sure of himself. Oh, I'm going to go all out, Johnny. You well, bet. good luck to you, Charlie. <laughs> Tell my man, come on up. Hi there, Thelma. Thelma, would you tell us, uh, what do you do for a living? Well, oh, I'm a secretary, but my fiance is here with me today, Jake! Hiya, Jake. Uh, tell me, uh, to what do we owe the pleasure, and I must say pleasure, of having you on our show. You, you want to know why I'm here? I'm listening. Because well, I'm greedy. <laughs> Our final contestant tonight, Johnny, Corporal George Reedy. Oh. Hey. Hi there, Corporal. Hi there, Johnny. Oh, easy there. Hey, let me tell you, it is always a pleasure to have a serviceman on our show. Would you uh, mind telling us how you lost your arm? Uh, Vietnam, Johnny. But I don't miss it. He d Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? What a wonderful, spirited young man, George Reedy. And right there you have our four contestants for tonight, all out. We'll be back for the start of our show after a couple of messages, so don't you go away. Insight. Stories of modern man's search for meaning. Freedom. Love. Insight. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to All Out. Remember, contestants, to win All Out and our $100,000 final prize, you must play right through to the finish. There are three games. If at any time you decide to drop out, you will forfeit the money you have. Do you understand that? Yes. yes. Good, then we'll get right on with our first game, which I have right here. And by the way, our producer told me earlier, this is a dilly. Let's take a look. It's a dilly. Contestants, each of you has brought a loved one with you here tonight, and here they are. Would you please identify your loved ones by coming down and standing next to them? Now, for the sum of $2,500, you must strike your loved one in the face. And our audience here will be the judge as to whether you deserve the prize money. Uh, does anybody want to quit? We'll start with you, Julia. No go, Julia. I'm afraid our audience doesn't think that you deserve the $2,500. Oh, Lord, Willie. Go ahead, Mom. I've been here before. We need the money. Oh. 
Yes, she's done it. Julia Colby is our first winner. Now we go to Charlie Ritter. We agreed, remember? I'm scared. Don't hurt me, honey. Well, I may have to. Now, we're going to win this. Okay? Oh! Oh, that was beautiful! Charlie, very good. We have two winners. That's almost unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go on to contestant number three, George Reedy. It's your turn to go all out. It's all right, son. I can't. I won't. I won't. Oh. I want the money not bad. Well, I, I guess that means goodbye, George Reedy. Well, you never can tell, folks. And now for our fourth contestant, Phil Moran. I promise I'll never hit you again. We don't need this, you know. Look, just pretend that it isn't me here, all right? All right. Just smile when you swing. Yes, and here's another winner, Bill my man. I want to come down here, and I want to say thank you to our loved ones for being such good sports. Now, this charming young lady will take you right back to the audience and right back to your seat. Thank you very much. How about a big hand for our loved ones, ladies and gentlemen? And now we have three contestants going on for our second game. And our second game, what is it? Well, we call it Tell a Little Lie About Yourself. Contestants, would you please come down here with me? Because for this portion of our show, you must talk to our audience personally. Thelma, Charlie, Julia, who'd like to be first? Me. All right, Julia Colby, ladies and gentlemen. Come right down here. Come on now, don't be afraid. Remember, Julia, you must tell our audience something about yourself, some deep, dark secret that nobody knows about. How much is this for? Um, <laughs> you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? She's right. I forgot to tell you how much our second game is worth. Julia, it is worth $50,000. $50,000? $50,000. And all I have to do is tell something terrible about myself? That's right. And all of us know that what you tell us isn't true. Right, ladies and gentlemen? Sure, because the name of this game is Tell a Little Lie About Yourself. But it's got to sound real, right? Oh, you bet you must impress our judges that it is real. Go ahead, Julia. Well, I only had a sixth grade education. So I guess some of you out there would say I was dumb. I got seven children and they're all poor and shiftless. And they got four different fathers. I'm afraid that's not enough, Julia. Well, I, 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 I walk the streets in the daytime sometimes. And I walk the street at night. Well, what, what, what I'm trying to really say is that I was a whore. And I, I got something bad, some real bad sickness. And I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't never told nobody before. Because if I did, my, my, my friends, they wouldn't come around. I got what the doctors call syphilis. And, and that ain't no cure for it. Because I, I went too long without medicine. And, and maybe I got a year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, bless you, Julia Colby. Oh, and that was worth $50,000, Julia. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Julia Colby. 
Now, contestants, who will be next? How about you, Charlie Ritter? Okay, Johnny. All right, Charlie, it's your turn to go all out. Do your thing. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm a man who knows what it's like to work hard all his life till he's close to 50 and end up with <clears throat> nothing. Zilch. Um, <clears throat> okay, I... I get drunk once in a while. I mean, you know, I really... <laughs> I really get smashed. <laughs> uh, okay, I... I love my wife. Elaine, don't get angry with me. I know you're sitting out there in the audience listening someplace. And I, um... Well, I did. I, I, uh... I had this affair. I, uh, you know, it was, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what the hell do you want from me? Uh, That's not enough, Charlie. Fifty thousand dollars buys a lot more than that. Okay, okay. <clears throat> well, I had a brother. He was older than me. You know, a real quiz. He could do anything I could do, only better. And how mom and dad loved him. And how, how I, I. Uh, envied him. Well, we were up at Lake Concourse, like we were every summer, and we thought it would be fun to climb the saddleback. I mean, it was my idea, but I could see Joe was a little bit queasy, and that made me want to climb it all the more. He'd just been accepted into UCLA on a physics scholarship. Well, I always got lousy grades, and I knew that wasn't going to be the thing with me. I mean, I knew I was never going to go to any college. I wasn't going to be any of the things Joe dreamed about being. I was just ordinary. But I knew that Joe was afraid to climb that mountain. And and when he fell, we were just going up this little chimney. We were hand climbing, and I turned around, and oh, I saw him about hanging 15, maybe 20 feet below me there. He wasn't in any kind of trouble or anything like that, but he was just hanging there on the slope. Well, I turned around again. I pulled myself up another, oh, five, maybe six feet. It felt good. Oh, God, it felt good. Then I heard him call out below me there, hey, Charlie, help me, Charlie, I'm getting tired. But I never even turned around. And when he fell, he screamed my name, Charlie, Charlie! <laughs> I never even turned around because, for once, I was the winner. And I just kept going, and I just went on and on and on. Kind of a bad thing can you say about a nice girl like me who's been sheltered by her parents all her life? Um, would you believe that I'm really a secret agent who assassinates people, would you? No. <laughs> okay. Hi there, Jake. Listen. Don't listen. Um, when I was 14, there was this boy, and um, I liked him very much. Well, anyway, um, I had an abortion. My parents never knew. Nobody ever knew. 
Um, well, men are usually hitting on me, but Jake's different. He really is. And I, uh, Oh, well, <laughs> wait a minute. I mean, just wait a minute. I mean, I was about to say something now that I am ashamed of. Something that I should tell Jake in private. That he should know. I want him to know. And I think he'll understand. Oh, I hope to God he'll understand. But I'm not going to say it up here. And do you want to know why not? Because it's none of your damn business. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after a brief announcement, so stay tuned for the big finale, $100,000 and all up! Okay, we're out. Who the hell picked her for a contestant? My job is hard enough without somebody like that. Can you beat it? You got the contract? Yeah, they're right here. Thanks. Would you sign these, please? What is it, Johnny? Well, it's it's legal. It releases the what? show from any uh, liability, you know, lawsuits, stuff like that. Oh, would you hurry up, make up your mind? Oh, I'll sign it. What the hell? I don't know. You're not going to hurt us, are you? Julia, I guarantee you that if you win, you'll be able to walk off this stage. That's good enough for me. And here we are back for the exciting second half of All Out. Johnny, we've still got two contestants with us, Charlie Ritter and Julia Colby. Julia and Charlie have ascended to the peak, ladies and gentlemen, and now for $100,000, they are going all out. And we go to our final big game, the $100,000 game. What will it be? I thought we were finished with all this. Why? Oh yes, yes. The instruments, please. Contestants, have you ever heard of Russian roulette? Yeah, I've heard of it. I read about it in the newspapers. Well, that's not what this is. Ooh, you had me scared there for a while. Me too, Johnny. I knew you couldn't do that on this show. And you're absolutely right, Charlie, because this game is not Russian roulette. Our producer calls it Russian roulette once removed because you have to convince your loved one to play Russian roulette. Wait one little minute. I don't mind putting my life on the line, but I can't ask my wife to do that. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, would you just sit down? Don't get ahead of me. Let me explain the game. We will give each of you one bullet. You will insert it in the gun. I can't force my son to take a chance like that. Why, that ain't fair. But, Julia, that's the game. You must convince him. Think of what you can do with $100,000. But the decision is entirely up to you. We will not coerce you in any way. The decision is yours, totally. And Johnny, what happens if the gun goes off? <laughs> Charlie, I'm afraid you didn't read that contract you signed because funeral arrangements are your obligation. <laughs> we will give each of you three minutes to talk it over. Make your decision. And in that time, we're going to go away for station identification and some other announcements. But don't turn that dial, ladies and gentlemen. Come back for the exciting finish to All Out. Hey, hey, what a hell of a way to make a living. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, I've been in more danger on the streets before. I fought gangs before. Remember the Dukes? I handled two of them. This ain't nothing. Oh, shut up and let me think. Ain't you got no pride? What do we do you go killing yourself here on this stage? But, Mama, $100,000, do you hear me? We could get the hell out of the ghetto. Out, Mama, out. And we could live like human beings. You got uh, five empty cylinders and one bullet? I don't think it can happen. And what if it does, Charlie? Well, just don't think about it, because it won't. When you slapped me before, I thought, well, this isn't Charlie. He's never hit me before. And I just put it out of my mind like it never even happened. I couldn't do it this time, Charlie. Elaine, if I could stop now, don't you think I would? Would you? Yes, I would. <laughs> oh, God, this is terrible. We've gone over halfway. Elaine, $100,000? Or a funeral. 
which you pay for, Charlie. No, but forget the funeral, because it's not going to happen. It can't. Mama, you said it yourself. Seven kids. I mean, this one won't be missed that bad. Because a mother has seven children, that don't mean each one isn't precious to her. Now, you're my oldest, and I ain't never told you this before, but you're also my favorite. But don't let that go to your head, boy. Mama, this ain't nothing. Believe me. I'll spin it around, take my click, and we'll collect our loot. We'll be rich. And we can buy us a house in Westchester. Well, that ain't exactly big time, but it would be nice. Now you got the idea, Mama. I'm telling you, it won't be hard. Believe me. All I do is close my eyes, spin it around, take my click, and, and we'll be hugging and laughing and with $100,000 in our pocket. Willie, I, I sure want that money. Then we'll go on, OK? OK, contestants, 30 seconds. Mama, think of the kids at home. And think of that fire trap we live in. And, and think of three meals a day with me. And, and no more hassles with the pigs, and no more worried about being ripped off. And all for one little click. There's something, Charlie, I always wanted to tell you. Now, I know you have this, this awful drive to make money. No, 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 not to make money, to be somebody. When you have money, then you are somebody, and people admire you and respect I you. I know, to be someone special. And I've seen you drive yourself all the time. And I figured, well, that's what a man is, is all about. He has to make a success of himself. Because failure is bad stuff. Oh, I knew you wanted to be a success, Charlie. Well, I want you to know you always were in my eye. Elaine, that's not enough. Now, come on, it'll be easy. <laughs> you know I love you. I love our children, too, but you're my man. I love you more. I'd gladly die for you if it was for something really important, something, something that would make you happier. It's just the most important thing in our whole lives. Why can't you see that? Charlie, Charlie, am I only worth $100,000 to you? Is that it after all these years? Shh, Is that it? Yell. Of course you're worth more than that. Am I? What am I worth to you? What do you mean to yourself? I can be everything I ever dreamed about being. You'll see the difference. No, I see right now. It won't make any difference when this is over. You'll get the money, but it won't make you any different. Yes, it will. I won't have to grovel in that lousy job anymore. You and I can go places and do things. We can buy a new house. We can get a new car. We can go out to dinner whenever we want to. We can invest some of the money. Elaine, we've come so far. Don't let me down now. All right. If you ask me to do this thing, I will. You will. You promise? But I will not love you anymore. Oh, sure you will. You love me now, don't you? I have. I think I could go on loving you if we left right now. Well, we're not just going to change, are we? I think we will. Oh, Elaine, we've been married for 25 years, honey. Things like that don't just change. It won't if you don't ask me. Let's go home right now. Let's just walk off right now and forget this whole thing. Charlie. Five seconds and you're on. Now don't tell me now, I'll ask you when we're on here. Would you come up here, please? Get up in your place there. Would you get up there? We just have a couple of seconds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello, all our fans. Welcome back to the $100,000 portion of our show. I know you're watching and waiting for the big answer. What will our contestants do? Will they go on and go all out? Now is the time to find out. We'll start with Julia Colvin. She says she's going on. Oh, I'm sorry, Willie, I'm sorry, but your mother must answer for herself. What will it be, Julia? Look, we've already decided she's going on with no sweat. No. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna let you out there make a spectacle of us. I got my pride, and ain't nobody gonna take it away. I don't want your money. You understand? But mama... Mama, nothing. I run this family, and what I say goes, and that's that. But I'm proud of you, son, for offering. Come on, let's go home. 
Julia Colby goes home with nothing, ladies and gentlemen. But let's give the lady a big hand. Thank you. Now for our last contestant, Charlie Ritter. Have you talked it over? Yes, we have. Do you have a decision? Yes, we do. We'd like to go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a contestant for our final game of All Out. We have a gentleman who wants to go all out. May we have the gun, please? Charlie, would you load the gun? Okay. Rules of the game. Okay. And just one bullet. Uh, would you twirl it, Charlie? Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all set. Charlie, would you give the gun to Elaine? Charlie, Elaine's waiting. And so are we. Now, Elaine, on the count of one, I will count down from 10, and our studio audience will count down with me. Do we have the microphones open for the studio audience, please? Thank you. Are you all set? Then here we go. 10, 9, 8, Come on, join us. Charlie, Charlie, here is your check for $100,000. How do you feel? Too choked up to talk. I can understand that. And how about his loyal wife, ladies and gentlemen? Elaine, Elaine, how do you feel? I'm rich. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I guess our time is up for tonight. So remember, tune in tomorrow night, same time, same station. And until then, ask yourself, would you go all out?